Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in another episode and we are now going to talk to Sister Magaret. What is the Adeptus Sorietas contingent doing on this orbital platform? We have a mandate from the Ordo Malleus to monitor the state of demonic infestation on the planet until a purgation fleet becomes available. What about the orbital battery? It must be capable of performing at least a partial purge. Unfortunately. The battery can only fire at irregular intervals, and the targeting cogitator has also been damaged. Its machine spirit only affects coordinates from beacons placed on the surface. So we need someone to land on the planet with the beacons. The Sisters of Repentia did volunteer from time to time, but the death toll has been steadily growing, and we had to stop until the infestation is under control. Could you offer us some assistance? Okay, you'll descend among a horde of demons with a targeting beacon. You gain points for exacting vengeance on them. With each kill, you, you earn points depending on the enemy type. As an automatic orbital gun battery will fire on your position in regular intervals, used to increase, use it to increase your store. Emperor be praised, Inquisitor. You are back. Have you changed your mind? Sensorium feed inquisitor. The first barrage has hit your position soon. May the Emperor protect you. Okay, this might be a little bit more dicey. Since we have no support from Bloody um, Guardsmen. So I should be careful. So the artillery strikes are obviously very very useful, although I'm not certain, obviously they're probably going to do um, um, friendly fire to us, right? That might be a little bit of a bummer. Ah, and let me guess, I there are going to be 9 strikes. Okay, come on guys, I'm here, I'm here. Nice. This is, I guess, how it should be played. So, with the vengeance... Okay, that was inconvenient. The good part is, not that we died, that is never a good part. But the good thing is that we, um, y you, you know, you can really, really use the orbital strike against the enemies. That is the only, only good side. So let me try something and not pulling too, too many enemies here. Okay, kill them please. Nice. So I think we are... Um, the only problem there might be, which makes the mission, or which makes us not completing the mission, is dying too often before the artillery strikes have been commenced. This could be a little bit of a bummer here, but I think we are going to just make it actually. Reloading. Not perfectly used. I should have tried to pull way more enemies. Way more of them. But well, lesson learned. The only good part is only six strikes are still then coming down. This shall be helpful, right? I mean, yes, it nearly killed us. But the thing is, we... Like the last mission, we are going to extract enough... I'm pretty sure we are going to extract enough... Oh, I'm 100% certain that we are going to extract enough vengeance. The... Since we are at 489... 
I just need to keep to stay alive. Okay, and that was a powerful hit. Bringing down a lot of enemies. I like that. So we need to only survive for a few more minutes. We are now... This can obviously change very, very quickly. Very, very good on inoculators. Come, all of you. Come, get me. And this was even betterly done. Although, I don't think we are going to get as high as in the last Vengeance episode, in the last mission, in the last episode, that is what I want to say, where we were over a thousand, I think 1200, but at least 1100. I don't think we are going to make that. Okay, guys, come at me. And this hit we did not use as I should have done. Okay, this is a bad spot. Plague Ogrin is down. I like that. Plague Ridden not. Come on, artillery. Let me actually kite or get as many of those guys. That was a great hit, man. Although, I need my explosive shells right now. Otherwise, we are going to be dead soon. I like this mission even more than against the Trukari mission. Since, I mean, yes, the time limit obviously is the orbital strikes. But overall, it is quite cool to... We have some sort of different scenario here available. And that, you guys, right now is going to bring us to the end of this episode. We are going to find out um, if there's going to be another of these kinds of missions in the next episode. For now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please, oh, whoopsie daisies, um, give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you guys in, well, the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.